When an Arizona police officer and father of two was responding to a call for suspected child abuse, he had no idea his life as he knew it would be forever changed when he pulled up to the house. Upon entering the home, however, the cop was left shaken by the sight in front of him. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos. Kingman Police Department Lieutenant Brian Zack, a father of two, was working the night shift as a patrol sergeant when he received a call, asking him to perform a welfare check at a nearby home. He responded to the call, not realizing that his life would never again be the same after what he was about to witness inside the residence. Her injuries were definitely abuse and it needed to be investigated. When Zack arrived at the house and went inside, he found a little girl and immediately knew something was terribly wrong the moment he laid eyes on her. Her name was Kyla, and she was just a toddler at the time. Sadly, the little girl was so badly hurt, it was obvious she had been abused. One of her eyes was swollen, she had dried blood in both her ears, she had different coloring of bruises all about her face, but she was still happy-go-lucky, a uh, little two-year-old. Making matters worse, this was the third time her abuse had been reported to authorities and I recognized um, her injuries and what they meant and the abuse that she suffered in different stages. Um, so I know something wasn't right. I took care of her, took her back to the station, Zach recalled, adding, we watched Wreck-It Ralph and we just bonded. The pair bonded so much in just five hours together. In fact, that Zach, although not knowing it at the time, had found the little girl who would eventually become his daughter. I came home, told my wife, the, the story uh, about this little girl that I just bonded with and, and would love to bring her home. But this wasn't a first for the loving police officer. In the, in the past 15 years, I've said that many times to my wife, of uh, some kid that I met that I would love to bring home and love and take care of. So it was nothing new for her. I had a lot of child abuse cases. And there's always kids that I would bond with and I'd love to take them out of bad situations and just bring them home. Zach furthered. So, this was nothing new. What was new, however, was the fact that this time, it would happen. A little girl would find her forever home with the police officer and his family in Kingman, Arizona. However, it wouldn't happen overnight. Instead, it would take two and a half years to make it official. After a representative with the Arizona Department of Child Safety took Kyla to the hospital for evaluation and treatment of her injuries, Zach went home, but he wasn't able to forget about little Kyla. Wondering how the toddler was doing, Zach called IZDCS and asked if he could visit her in the hospital. I called the um, DCS worker and got an update on Kyla and found out that she was transported to Vegas and got an update on her injuries and uh, that she would be in Vegas for a little bit. So I asked if I could um, be on the list to see her because I know in child abuse cases, she, the, the hospital's pretty much on the lockdown. The policeman was granted permission and it didn't take long before his family began talking about having Kyla stay with them. So we had a family meeting and, and it was, I showed them a picture of Kyla and said, this little girl uh, may need to come to our house for some love and care for a little bit. Um, we don't know how long, but it could be a couple weeks, a month or, or so, and we just want to um, provide our loving home. Since the agency couldn't find any family members who were willing to care for the little girl. CS worker asked uh, the question that changed our life, and it was, would you consider being placement for her? I met her Saturday night, and Wednesday night, she was dropped off at our house. Zach and his wife, Sira, took her in. But it wasn't an easy feat at all. In fact, there was a lot that went into giving Kyla the home she deserved. We had to get a bed. We had to get a high chair. She came with a bag of clothes that didn't fit her, and a sippy cup and that was it, Zach recalled, according to IZ family. For two and a half years, the Zachs cared for Kyla before officially adopting her in 2020 when she was four years old. For the signs the order of adoption, congratulations. This weight was lifted because I knew that I didn't have to worry about who was going to be taking care of her, who was going to be loving her. The best thing to come out of 2020 is the fact that we gained an official member of our, our family. That was my, my Christmas present. A very happy Lieutenant Brian Zach declared, that was my Christmas present. 
He added, and he's not the only one who's thrilled with the way things turned out as both Sierra and Kyla had some declaration of their own. I would definitely encourage people to do it, Sierra said, speaking of the fostering and adoption process. Because there's so many kids who need guys even if it's just for a small amount of time you can make such an impact. Following Kyla's adoption, Brian and Sierra Zach said they are planning to renew their foster license and help more kids. Eleven. Um, love him on so much. And who could blame her? After experiencing abuse at the hands of those who were supposed to love her, this child was finally granted the home and loving family she deserved. Thanks to a police officer who went above and beyond the call of duty in a big way. When we got her she knew three words. Basically, she grunted like a caveman. She didn't know how to talk. And, now, she loves to talk. Zach admitted, thrilled to report that Kyla is now happy and flourishing, which children tend to do in a safe and loving home. So, job well done officer Zach. Let's hope this display of love and compassion sets an example for others to follow.